What's going on everyone? It's your boy Cotton. Welcome back to the channel. It's almost five o'clock in the morning right now. It's super late. I should probably be asleep, but instead I'm up creating content for you guys. The key to success is being consistent with a little bit of consistency in your life. Anything is possible, I promise you that, so just keep that in mind. This video is gonna be the first part of a three-part series I'm doing on how I edit my music videos. Part one will be aimed at the very beginner. It'll have to do with importing your footage into Premiere, properly setting up a new sequence, syncing up your performance shots to the audio, and adding color labels to your clips. Let's get started. So when importing footage into Premiere, there's two ways you can go about doing this. The first way is just go to the folder that your footage is in, select all of the clips, and drag it to where it says import media to start. Simple enough, right? So I'm going to delete all this. The next way works best if you're importing anything like red footage. You go to your media browser, which will probably be located somewhere over here for you guys. Go to where your footage is located. Select all the clips again and drag it into the same place. Once you have imported all of your footage into Premiere, the next thing you want to do is create a new sequence. So we can just go to where it says Timeline. Go to File, New and see where it says sequence. It says there's a hotkey set up, control N. So I'm just gonna push that, control N. The sequence I like to use is the RE 1080p 23976. So I'm gonna select that now. Once you have your sequence created, the next thing you wanna do is add the audio. So I'm gonna add that to A1. Then I like to move this down right here to give me a little more space to work. The next thing we're going to do is right click right here, go to, oh, right click right here, go to new item, <clears throat> adjustment layer, there we go. We're going to drag this into the timeline, and then we're going to put this on about the fifth space. Boom. So once we do that, I like to go to my fix, go to crop, add that to the adjustment layer top 15%, bottom 15%, and then we're gonna lock this and lock the audio. And what we just created on this adjustment layer is gonna be your letterbox. So yeah, that's a great way for you guys to letterbox and get that widescreen cinematic look for your videos. So once we have created our letterbox and added our audio to the timeline, the next thing we wanna do is start syncing our performance shots. So we're gonna go to our performance folder, in our performance folder, we're gonna go to new bin, and we're gonna title this used, and then we're gonna bring this all the way to the top. So we're gonna go to our first clip. We're gonna find a point in our song that we're gonna start syncing our clips up to. So I'm gonna play the, play the, play the video. So right there with a, where she first starts singing and there's a beat, that's where I'm gonna use. Right there. And if you use the, the scroll wheel on your mouse, you can go forward or backwards frame by frame to help you out. So right there on the beat. Boom. So I'm gonna find the same place in the actual performance take. Right there. So I'm gonna use this right here to make an endpoint, and then I'm gonna drag just by clicking this right here to drag only the video instead of the video and the audio. Because if I drag like this, it's gonna take the audio to, so I'll drag this up. You can see I added an audio track. I'm gonna delete that. I'm gonna bring this back down, and I'm just gonna drag the video only. So now as you guys will see, the clip is synced up to the music. Okay, so say I had about five more clips from the same take or from the same location of her on the mountaintop. What I like to do once I have all of my clips from a certain location in the timeline is right click. Say if I had a multiple clips, I'd select them all, but I just have one. So I'm going to right click on this clip. I'm going to go to label. And since this is a warmer scene, it's kind of orangish looking and she's on a mountain. 
to help me remember what this scene is, I'm going to label this clip orange. So now I know exactly what this clip is when I'm looking at it in my timeline. Once I've done that, I'm going to right click on the clip and go to enable and turn the clip off. I actually have a hotkey set up, which is my U key. In a separate tutorial, I go over every keyboard shortcut that I use, so you can use the same shortcuts if you'd like. But for now, just make sure you right click it and turn that clip off by clicking enable. And again, I just use the U key. So we'll go over the shortcuts later. So once we have that in the timeline and it's turned off, I'm gonna drag this clip since it's been used into the use folder. So now I'm gonna go to my next clip and do the same exact thing. So right there, make an endpoint, drag it into the timeline. So now we got that synced up. So I'm gonna right click it, go to label, and since I already, even though that even though this thing is warmer too, I've already got something orange. So I'm gonna label this clip yellow. I'm gonna use the U key to turn it off, or again right click it and click enable. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna take this file to the use folder. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna do the same thing for all of the rest of my clips or all the rest of my performance shots. So I'm gonna go here. All right, here we go. Right there. Make an endpoint, drag it on top of my other clips. And for some reason, my, my labels went away. So I'm gonna right click this again Got to label, label this orange, label this yellow. I have no idea why that happened. Weird. So as you can see, this clip's now synced up. Water on the bed from the bathtub, what you gonna do? Okay, so now I'm going to turn this off. Do the same thing for the next clip. I'm going to drag this into the use folder. Go to the next clip. Right there. Synced up. Okay, so now I'm going to turn that clip off. Or again, make sure you guys are remembering, enable. Drag it into the use folder. Go to the next clip, do the same thing. Okay, we got that clip synced up, so I'm gonna turn it off, push U. And again, if you start running out of space on your timeline, to make a little more room, you can click right here and then drag this up, and it'll make everything a lot smaller. Just a good tip for you guys. So now that I have that clip synced up, I'm gonna do the same thing, use folder, and then I'm gonna sync up my last clip. How was my... Yeah. Okay. Right there. Okay, now that we got that synced up, give me some more room, make that small like the other clips. I'm gonna turn this off. Then I'm gonna select all these clips I just synced up and I'm gonna label them blue or something since this is a cold scene or blue. 
but as you can see they're already a bluish tone so i'm just gonna keep them like that for my labels so yeah guys that's gonna do it for part one of this tutorial i know it was very basic but as i said it was aimed at the very beginner somebody just getting started out in premiere and would like to learn part two is gonna have to do with cutting to the music as well as adding your b-roll you don't want to miss that so make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button give this video a thumbs up drop a comment share the video with all of your friends and i'll see you guys next time